Ooh. That is not a way to start a video, people. But um, I'm getting over this little ugly cold that I caught in this past week. So I just wanted to come to you guys because it is December 31st, 2014. This is my last video of the year. And I just wanted to come to you guys and kind of give like some words of encouragement and some thank yous to you guys for just sticking with me, man. I mean, to, this year was a monumental year for a motherfucker like myself, okay? Um, I got my 100,000 uh, subscriber plaque. Um, and I'm almost at 200 subscribers now, which is crazy. I guess that first little hump, you know, y'all just, everybody flocking. Keep flocking. Um, but no, besides that, though, I got to meet a lot of you guys in person this time. I did not get to do a meet and greet this year like I said I was going to do last year. But that was only because of, it was just so much going on. But I'm not going to promise next year, but I'm going to try my damnedest in my hardest for sure to do so. But besides that, um, I just want to come to you guys and say, like, a lot of you guys have hit me up and asked me about, like, how do I feel about, like, the way I've grown since I've started doing YouTube and stuff like that. And I will say that I feel much better and much confident as a person um, because of me being myself and doing this for so long. And sometimes there are things in life, because I know this year for sure for me, there are a lot of things that um, definitely took me out of my element and out of my character um, like yesterday, but you know, things happen, but nobody's perfect. We all have to learn from our mistakes. And as long as you don't continue to keep making the same mistakes, then you're going to grow as an individual. Just remember that whatever you want to do with yourself in life, you have to apply yourself 135,000% to whatever you're doing. If you only apply half of it, you're going to get a half-assed product. If you only apply half of you know, the the passion that you were for something else, then it's not going to really work out to be something that you really enjoy. So remember in the new year, if you guys are making resolutions, I don't make those because I never keep them. So it's really no point for me to do so. Um, but for you guys who are going to um, start New Year New Year's resolutions and kind of stick to them and not do the things that you did this year, next year, stick to those because... What is it going to allow you to do as a person is grow. And like I always say, growth is the biggest thing as humans that we want we grow from little children into adults and we don't want to start making teenage decisions while we're grown-ass people it's just not cool so um if there's somebody telling you that you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that and you shouldn't be this person and uh they don't feel comfortable because of how you live your life or that's not practical in the the field that you want to go in Fuck all of that. Do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and be happy. As long as you're not hurting nobody and as long as you're trying to be a bigger and better person for you. At the end of the day, you know, family is what it is and it's great and everything and it's great to have a support system, but a support system is not supposed to put you down. Yeah, I give tough love to my friends too and I tell them the truth that they're trying to do something that doesn't necessarily seem like it's going to be, um, that they're going to stick with. You know, when you know somebody, you know they they going to be with this for about 10 minutes and then it's going to be over. So, you you know, if it's like that, you know, still give them some type some type of words of encouragement to want to keep doing it, but always be honest and be honest with yourself. Stop trying to be people that you're not. Stop trying to stun on Instagram. Stop trying to be someone that is not you, like hardcore you. Be who the fuck you are. These motherfuckers want to talk about you and talk shit about you and they want to call you this and they call you that. You're doing something right. Because listen, I can't be a hot topic without an audience. Remember that, okay? And what you do is you swing your motherfucking hair and be like, and I did that. Mm -hmm. And you was watching, bitch. Make sure you just be confident in what you do as well. Don't do something and then feel ashamed about it after you do it because it didn't make it seem like it's not authentic. When you really don't give a fuck about what people think about you and the things that you do in life and the things that you want to do, any motherfucker could say anything. But I'm still that bitch. At the end of the day, I still feel good about myself. It seems to be that you are my dear with the problem. So maybe you should, you know, stop trying to tell me why you don't like me and figure out why you don't like me, you know? So I'll be back next year. Um, I was supposed to have some hair reviews up. Um for white label hair as well as diamond hair company and i have not done those because i have been sick so those will be um and a rpg show one too and i have a giveaway for a wig so look like this so um remember um look out for those as well but yeah i want to apologize to those companies in advance i did not know i was going to get sick but yeah i'm not gonna stop rambling now you guys have a beautiful prosperous what the fuck a beautiful 
safe um new year and um bring it in with love no hate don't be on instagram fighting about who said what when it's it's gonna be a new year this is a point for us to all start out fresh you know um yeah the shit that you did in the past ain't gonna be erased you can't delete it like a tweet but you can start off for yourself not fuck everybody else but for yourself you can be better and want to move forward and do the things that you do and i wish you guys nothing but the best and happy new year and I will see y'all next year because a bitch like me is going to Disney.